pretty okay, well. Okay, when they get to the bottom of the hill, we're going to get the entire front row of our infantry. As soon as they start climbing the hill, when we give you the word, it's going to charge at them. Okay. Almost directly before that, in fact, it should be we need to send the ar archers out, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so now. Yeah. Yeah, can your archers, can you start firing on the horsemen, the cavalry, and the front row of infantry? You're going to have to wait until they're fairly close. Okay. Kind of an interesting comment by Joe just then. They're, they're going to wait till they get to the bottom of the hill. They're going to actually have to start climbing up the hill before they launch their attack. She's determined to make the best use of her infantry that she can. She knows they've got to be using a shock, shock wave. What I'm interested in is, are they going to coordinate it with these pincer movement that they've set up? That's right. Out on the right flank, the Caledonian horsemen await the advance of the Roman cavalry. Their cavalry are going through a rocky patch. Our chariots will not cope with them on that rocky patch. Instead of using their chariot key troops in an early skirmish on the flat, the team have deployed them on rocky ground against horsemen. Will this prove a costly mistake? Dad, yeah? send one cavalry to attack inside the flank and then send the other one right. to attack, attack the other yeah. cavalry. Attack. They're coming to get us! The Caledonian cavalry now have a fight on their hands. Outnumbered by Roman horses, they must rely on their chariots to do some of the work. But it looks like the team's chariots may be finished before they've even begun. The right hand infantry, this is ours so over here. Can we go back right here? Is engaged? that all their cavalry from the right hand flank? We have to engage, right? We're pretty well in total battle here. We're all committed yeah, we on the right hand this. flank. All committed on the right hand flank. How are we it's doing with it? Uh, it's, it could go either way at the moment. Okay. We're not doing too bad. The generals are keeping a big picture of the battlefield. They are using their lieutenants as their eyes and ears further ahead of the, of the actual battlefield. The detail of the battlefield is being picked up by the lieutenants, and they are keeping the bigger picture, as you say. And that's it. so far so good, because the command structure seems to be working reasonably well, despite the fact that you've got children at the back and parents at the front, and you would have thought that would cause a problem. Have you sent in a, a, a unit of infantry? No, not to this patch, because we're on the right wing, the right, right flank. Send, send in an inf a unit of infantry. They're quite a long way away. By committing half of their cavalry to an early ambush on the right flank, the Caledonian generals have drawn significant numbers of Roman cavalry away from the centre of the battlefield and away from the Caledonian infantry, poised to commence their main assault. OK, we've tied up their cavalry. We have drawn them out. Maybe you should go for a full frontal now. The ambush off on the right flank does seem to have stripped the Roman cavalry off of their left flank. But do they have the, uh, the oomph to do anything to the Romans? Right. OK. If the Romans Ready? are still advancing, then push all the infantry at the front, like the front line forward. That's both of hill. you, Mum. That's you and them. All the front line, only the front line, all the front line down towards them. The Caledonian generals planned a battle on three fronts. After committing their right flank early in the battle, they now order their infantry forward across a broad central line to engage the approaching Romans. But has the left flank been posted too far from the action? Where are, where are the left-hand flank of cavalry, Mum? They're, they're actually coming forward without being told to because uh, they were too No, far ours are the ears. Oh, ours. Ours. Keep ours to the left-hand flank. Keep them out. Keep them out of the battle. Despite the general's orders, a unit of Caledonian cavalry has been sent to attack some Roman infantry head-on. It could be disastrous.
Meanwhile, on the right flank, things have got worse. The cavalry have regrouped and uh, they're beginning to rout our cavalry. We are, we are fleeing on Can the right flank. To that right hand side, please. You seem to be losing it just a little there, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, it's going to be Is fine. Is it getting to you? It's going to be fine. Um, I can't bear to see the little people dying. You just can't stop caring. Can <laughs> it's really tough. They sprung their flank attack probably a little bit too early and without enough support, and it could have been costly. But in actual fact, what it's done is slightly dislocated the Roman manoeuvre, and it may be that the aggression the Caledonians are showing after that is actually going to pay off. Just to come in right. to the side so that they can start being right. actually used. lost their chariots and half their cavalry to Agricola's disciplined Caledonian warriors led by Calgacus, at last able to engage the team... If you can get the archers as soon as possible. ...to drive the Romans back and out of the highlands. Dad, if you've got any more infantry units at the back, just push them straight forward into they're the going, centre. They're going right As the team launched their simultaneous attack on the left flank, can Joe's archers finally play their part against the Romans? So this is our archers firing now. Excellent. While your archers are firing. We've defeated their first group, their first OK, line. keep going. Oh, no, keep, keep your... Another chop. line coming in. Right, Mum, bring the cavalry to engage these guys. Bring round the, the cavalry. enemy cavalry are charging, watch the Yeah, bring round our cavalry. Archers, get the archers. If you can... Okay, bring your archers. Your archers are running. This flank of archers here, bring them down. Get them down, as far down into the Roman side as you can. Get them along the side so that, and behind them so that they can start firing on... Um, so, here. Firing on the Roman troops section. from the back. Sorry. No, it's all right. You're, you're so loud they can hear you back in 84 AD. Excellent. <laughs> now that the Caledonians are committed on all fronts, can they use their superior numbers to envelop the disciplined Roman army? But if there's one thing Agricola's soldiers can call on, it's flexibility in the heat of battle. Now, here you see the Romans refusing their left flank. They're going to set up to try to prevent the Caledonians from coming in and wrapping right around their left flank. They've got to react to this fast because the Romans are actually coming up in an awful lot of strength now. And those Britons there are gonna be in a Roman sandwich. Here they, here they come. The victorious Roman cavalry have moved on from the carnage on the right, charging up the slope and threatening to surround the Celts in the centre. With the future of the Highlands at stake, can the generals defend their advantageous position against a coordinated Roman attack? Swordsmen are running away on the, the right flank. Away. I mean, okay, watch. Well, Direct the battle. Come on. Okay, get get your get your cavalry into this next lot because they're coming up here. So these guys have gone. And mum, if you have any more infantry left. How are the infantry doing? Because you see the infantry. The Caledonians are fully committed, using their weight of numbers to hold back the Roman army. Their strategy depends on enveloping the enemy. But can they maintain the same organized line as the Romans? Not only are Caledonian troops less disciplined than the enemy, but they may be spread too thin across such an open area. If communication breaks down between distant, ill-disciplined troops, the team could be in serious trouble. We're bringing down the infantry into the battle over on the left. How, how are your archers doing? Are, are their archers that we sent round the back. How are they doing? Is that them there? I think they've run away. They're not allowed to run away. This is a battle. 